hello there in this video i am going to show you how we can implement a dead picker fragment or time picker fragment and use that fragment to show a dead picker dialog to the user and selected data will be sent back to the fragment uh, this is very important here getting data back to fragment by default dead picker or time picker provide the data back to the parent activity but this is not our case we want the data to be sent back to the fragment from which the dead picker has been called let's see how we can achieve this i have created a blank project nothing much here it is uh, by default code uh, generated by the android studio you can see there is main activity and there is activity main layout resource file uh, first clean up activity main layout and just for uh, demonstration i'm going to use linear layout and we don't want any view what we want each fragment that will be a child of main activity and inside that fragment we will implement our dead figure fragment the user will be able to pick a dead and that selected will be sent back to the uh, fragment I'm going to create a new fragment it will extend the fragment class fragment.app this one and I'm going to uh, create a new layout for the fragment for the sake of simplicity I'm going to set the root element to linear layout one thing I want to show you that I have already enabled the view winding feature. This is not mandatory. I just prefer adding view winding because it is a lot much easier to use. So inside the home for constructor, we can pass the resource layout file for the fragment, fragment home. So this will inf in inflate our view. So what we need to do here is to override one view created. I am going to create a dead figure fragment. that figure fragment will be extending dialog fragment this one and i am going to implement that picker dialog dot on data set listener in this fragment class implement member now before uh, moving on to the on data set function i am going to create a global calendar instance and we have to override another method on create dialog inside this uh, instead of returning super dot on create dialog we are going to return a new dead picker dialog and uh, this is uh, several method of loading we are going to use on this one context and dead figure dialog on that dead set listener and the year month and that listener is implemented in this fragment so we are going to use this so we have to create these variables your month and day so uh, what uh, we can do here is uh, we can show the current date a month and year to the user when the that picker is open so let's do this calendar dot get then calendar dot year uh, same for month and day i will just change the variable name and day of month month so this is just for the default date this dialog will be shown to the user now what we need to do is to set the date selected by the user now i want to format the data so let's create another variable selected date equals to simple date format okay now we need to create a bundle so that we can pass the data to the fragment so let's create a variable select that bundle then we can just put the data the formatted string the selected data to the bundle we need to set fragment request card and the selected data bundle this is actually equivalent to the set target fragment which is deprecated so we are using the set fragment rather to use this we have to add fragment dependency this is the dependency we have to use now sync now moving back to that picker fragment now import it everything here is ready we need to set up our home fragment from which we can call the dead picker fragment so here we have to reference our button as i am using the view binding i have to initialize the binding
so now i can use binding dot apply to reference the button we have to prepare our fragment home layout file Here reference the button selected dot set on click listener you instantiate the dead picker fragment we have just created here you can do is call dead picker fragment equals to we need support fragment manager manager dot support fragment manager we can use require activity here we could have used uh, the null check here now we have to implement the set fragment result listener so here we are going to set fragment result listener support fragment manager dot set fragment result listener this one the second one we can have any request code this could be anything but uh, this need to be a string let's uh, name it as a request key and now we have to pass the second parameter which is a view lifecycle owner now inside the function body we can get back the result key and bundle now here we need to check if the result key is same as the request key uh, we can extract our data val dat equals to bundle dot get string and here this key will be the key which we use to pass the date from the dead picker fragment here the key with which we have packed the bundle is request code but i am going to rename this to something meaningful like selected date and this key we are going to use in home fragment to extract our data and the request key here is request key let me update real quick and here we can update the request key as request key now this is finished and now we can get data back to our fragment we can uh, do whatever we want now we can reference our text view tv selected that and set its text to the received that let me show you some diagrams so that you can understand the process basically we are doing three steps first inside our home fragment we are implementing a set fragment result listener then we are showing the dead figure fragment from which the user will be able to choose a date after the date has been selected the selected date will be bundled and sent back to the parent fragment in our case the parent fragment is home fragment and the dead figure fragment is our uh, dead figure fragment so basically we are implementing the set fragment result listener inside the parent fragment then we uh, implemented our own dead set listener inside the dead figure fragment here inside the dead set method we are sending the data back to the parent fragment using set fragment result method important thing here is the request key we need the request key to identify the result for our fragment only so we need this result key to be passed to set fragment result listener let's see the code in action now i'm going to run this app in my device <laughs> 